Hey guys, so today is a very different video, or not super different, but it's different, and I'm really excited for it, and I, it's just for fun, so don't take it seriously, but I decided to do my makeup today, but instead of me doing the voiceover or adding the products in the description or, um, like in titles or whatever on the screen, I am going to have my dad do the voiceover. It's probably going to be hilarious because he does, he knows absolutely nothing about makeup so this is gonna be really interesting and he hasn't done the voiceover yet because obviously i've edited this video so i don't know how it's gonna turn out but i will have all of the products listed in the description bar just in case if he doesn't say it right or the clip is too short of me showing it you're covered if you want to recreate this look um but yeah other than that that's basically it i just wanted to get an intro in there for you guys and explain what's going on. Without further ado, let's get into this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Good evening. I'm Natalie's father. And this is my daughter putting on makeup. I can... I think I know... I think I know what this is. This is the foundation. I think that's what I'm seeing. I don't get to actually know, but I think that's what it is. This is foundation. Yeah. Yeah. That eyeshadow on the eyelids. And then take your finger and rub it. Makes sense. I, that makes sense. Morphe is, Morph 350 is this color we like this color which is going to be added to that other color use a lot of that doesn't look like using too much of them others this looks easy enough Now we're, well, we're coloring the eyelids some more. We, now we're coloring, coloring the skin above the eyelid with that stuff and that. I think it's a different brush now. A lot of work on this eye. Still working on the eyes. We got a color pop 6B04. Now we got to make the eyelid silver. Yeah, that makes sense. I can see that. Yeah, eh, that looks good. Looks good. I don't see how you do this without getting it in your eye, but <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other one. Now we're brushing the area above the eyelid. And that one too. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. But... Roll on shimmer. Yeah. Platinum. With your finger. Put more sparkly. Got some in the corner. Yeah, we'll fix that. That ain't fixed yet. That's the stuff right there. Of course, I like to watch the face that she makes as she's putting it on. You don't get to see them right here. But... Naked skin, fair, neutral. Now we get on our war paint. I mean, it literally looks like we're painting now, which is it's okay. Huh. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this turns. V. No, just a. I don't know. So we got a different type. This like a makeup sponge. We're dobbing it in. I think that's what's going on. No, that looks good on the nose and forehead. But 
Got a lot more dobbing to do here. How do you not get that in your eye? Airspun loose face powder. How do you not get that in your eye? What I want to want? The different kind of brush. I guess we're doing the area under the eye. Brow whiz. Eyebrow work. This looks good. This looks good. Yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to paint them on. You want to have real eyebrows. You guys don't like those fake painted eyebrows. Trust me. You need to have real ones. Yeah. I'm coloring them in. We've got to use mark here. This is impossible. So you're doing the inside of the eyelid. I mean the eyelash. I wouldn't even think you even touch that area. How is this done? I can, yeah, I can see that. Paint the little paint mark, but now you're doing the top of the very end of the eyelid. Well, we don't what kind of brand that is. We don't need that brand. And now eyelid, eyelashes. I guess the eyes, the eyes, eyes are pretty. I guess they're done. Now we're, see, I thought the face was already done, but now we're doing something else. It's like more foundation, I think. Well, we're back to the eyes. I thought they were done. Now we got to do the bottom of the eyelash, the bottom lash, I think. Oh, how do you, how do you do this and not poke yourself in the eye? Too much work. Too much work. This has been used a lot, as you can tell. They're worn off the letters. So now we're making, I think, fake eyelashes with e.l.f. That. No, we're back to the eyebrows. I thought that we were done. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Well, we're doing the eyebrows. Now we're back to the rouge. I think it's rouge. And more foundation. Just twist your face. Yeah. Say. We're adding more makeup, I think. See, I thought though. Yeah, I thought it was done already too, but then you added more now. The eyes aren't done? Or no, the nose. Yeah. Painting the nose. for your jewelry twist your face more yeah over here oh, oh then you blend that in but you don't mess the actual rouge shadow with the yeah I understand I understand yeah, good face good face yeah. yeah an elf blush that color not the pink stuff but the brown you want to look brown not pink yeah and this looks like bat guano. But I guess it gives you a little sparkle on top of your your rouge. And it makes your nose shine. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, water break. Right. Leave that there. Indie Beauty. Buttercream. Now here we are. I thought, I thought this is done with the lipstick. I mean, the, yeah, not your fingers, but oh, there we go. Oh, else? Just painting. That's what they mean by painting your lips. Oh, this does not look easy. More lipstick. Oh, but you. Now you took away the edges. You did 
<clears throat> you did make a line around the. You took that up. You look darker now. Did you put more makeup on? We <laughs> skipped some steps. No. Well, goodbye. This is the end result, and I hope you learned something. Bye. <laughs>